So this product which yields us more revenue should be displayed along with that. Cross-selling comes in when the same thing. I come to buy a book, I might also buy a pen. So keep both those items together. Okay. So yeah, we don't need a PPD as such. And so uh, these concepts, uh, how do we incorporate that in our PPD? Because we hardly got any time to arrange these stuff. So we looked at the video and after that, we recollected what all do we have? We have observed okay. we have processed it. We have another thing that <coughs> the lady fox, the lady fox, they usually don't scan the bottom shelves. I'm not very sure about this thing, but it's a challenge itself, the research. Okay. So all the men products, for example, the deodorants for men, the other products for men actually targeted the shaving gels and all. They can even be kept at the bottom place. Because usually men what they do is uh, the masculine form, what they do is they can they scan the entire shelf. But when it comes to ladies, they just walk past like this, first, second, maximum third, the fourth shelf that almost goes unnoticed. So so actually we could uh, after arranging, we had to sit and mix and match. Okay, so we have kept this over there uh, due to some reason. Now we have to find a reason for that. So it's about applying what we know into what we have already done. This was also a light around, but like, it carried weightage, but still, it, we hardly got 30 minutes to do this. Then after this came the jingle round. So uh, one we more thing, uh, impulse buying was also covered, wherein uh, the first thing that you keep in, like, why is candy kept next to the counter? Because that will be end up having impulse buying. So the, those kinds of arrangements also we looked into when we were making yeah. our... Uh, I come to the billing counter, he doesn't have enough change to tender. So he'll get, he'll, he can give me a gift there for 10 minutes. So that's the reason I think 
all of us know that even in the normal Pangala shops, it's kept the same way. But it's up to us to do any kind of case analysis, you should go into it. You cannot outdo the best brands out there. So BCG, EY, Bain, Booz, Booz Allen, even all. Deloitte, all of these people come up with their own analysis for each sector. So if you keep following this, this will help you for your placements, final placements, because maybe if you say something from these reports, it will be very evident to the person sitting next to you, know, the person judging, because he knows you are talking sense. You cannot develop, you know, for all industries, you cannot develop your own market feedback, but you can always borrow from them. In the middle of such a global conversation, if you suddenly come up with some stats, it will always play hand to your people to come with you. And uh, uh, how many of you have read the uh, marketing white book? I think 11, 13, 12, 14 of those. That you can identify your own sector and start reading that book. Not only, I am not saying that the book is comprehensive, but you will get the links to all these research papers and all. There will be extracts from the research in the book which you can actually Google or you can buy your research papers if you want. Okay, there will be links and graph in the book regarding various researches, PMI, Lloyd, Payne and all. So the graphs and all, you can go to the original pages and see the entire reports if you want. And most of them, if you sign up, there is a free sign up. If you sign up, all the reports are free. There are, you know, advanced versions of the report, but believe me, that will not make sense to us. This particular book will be like an index of where you can find stuff. Can you please repeat the name of the book? Marketing White Book. It's by Business World. Yeah. Business World. Business World. Business World.